It's great to go back and revisit the top of Sani Pass in Lesotho again and see what's happening up there in the spring. My only fear is getting up there as the ascent is steep and the road is quite scary at times. When we began our climb, the weather wasn't too bad and the drive was quite enjoyable. As we got higher though, we could see the weather changing and it wasn't long before we were battling to see a few meters in front of us. It was only four o'clock when we reached the top, but it seemed a lot later as it was so dark and cold. The next day, we expected similar weather, but it was unbelievably clear. We had thought today we would have a look at the wetlands. The change was dramatic, as in the winter, there was far less water and the water that was here was frozen. Today the wind was strong. The flowers with the round heads that were still yellow in the winter had turned brown. The biggest difference was that the landscape had defrosted and transformed. Streams and rivulets covering the wetlands in front of us. From all this new water, bright yellow flowers were sprouting and there seemed to be a fresh new life that had started up everywhere. We thought we'd have a look in the water, as in the winter we had seen tadpoles and frogs living unbelievably under the ice. We had come across tadpoles which were feeding on a dead toad. They were really digging into the soft flesh, the toad's misfortune giving opportunity and life to others. It was really not a day to find much because of the icy winds but we managed to spot a few Drakensberg River frogs. These tadpoles and frogs can withstand sub-zero temperatures, snow and ice. But what is interesting about them is that they are endemic to this Drakensberg Lesotho area. Another fine example of a species known only to be found in this specific region in the whole world.